Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. Uh, in this video tutorial, we're going to look at the uh, Toolbox application. Now, this is a, a little application that installs with EQ Ascom, and it's available off the Start button. As we can see. Okay, so clicking that brings up the Toolbox. Now the toolbox provides a series of kind of administrative uh, operations uh, that operate on the the, the, the files uh, that are behind EQAscom. Now the EQAscom itself, when it installs, it has to register itself uh, with Windows first of all, because it is a a, a com server. And it also has to register itself, register itself with the uh, ASCOM platform. Uh, and that's so ASCOM knows that uh, EQASCOM has been installed. Uh, and it can list it as one of the drivers available whenever you see one of those chooser drop downs. Registration uh, with Windows and ASCOM is, is done automatically as part of the uh, installer but within the toolbox we provide a couple of buttons where you can uh, manually deregister and re-register uh, it's purely a kind of a, a, a diagnostic thing um, normally you wouldn't have to touch these but if you suspect that uh, Windows has, uh, has somehow got upset or, or the ASCOM platform um, isn't listing uh, EQ ASCOM or, or the simu EQ ASCOM simulator uh, as an available telescope driver then the thing to do is to come in here and, and click the register button and see if that sorts it out. Uh, from some of the other videos you've probably already seen me use this some of these setup options um, basically all you do here is you pick whether you want to operate on the, uh, the, the real telescope driver or the simulator uh, and from there you can access the driver setup and you can test the connection and th 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 this is where I would recommend people when they very f when they install EQASCOM for the first time this is where I would recommend they, they set up the drivers and do their connection tests okay the third area is is where we look at the configuration files behind EQASCOM. Now these are actually stored on your hard disk as text files um, and in fact I'll, I'll, I'll show you where they're put. Um, if I bring in a, a file manager the way to find the uh, EQASCOM uh, files is simply to type percent right, hang on. That's because I'm on the uh, okay, go to my C disk so percent app data percent forward slash EQ mod type that into your uh, Explorer address bar and it will take you to the place where it is. Now this is normally a, a, a hidden, this, this application data folder is, is, is normally a hidden folder on your disk but, but typing um, the percent app data percent forward slash EQ mod will, will take you to where the files are actually stored. And you can see that there's, there's, there's two directories, there's, there's one for the uh, telescope drive and one for the telescope simulator and within these uh, directories are the INI files uh, for all the various applications so there's uh, EQ Tour, INI files in here, EQ Mosaic files in here uh, and a, a lot of other things that we've um, developed most of the EQ Mod applications will store their INI files uh, within 
these directories. The ones that relate to uh, EQASCOM are EQMod.ini, Align.ini, which is where your alignment information is stored, and Joystick.ini. Now you can manually manipulate these. You can uh, open them up in a in Notepad, and you can see they're just text files that are full of settings. Um, you know, not particularly friendly thing to do. Uh, to, not particularly friendly file to 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 edit, but uh, if needs be, you can go in there and change these settings. Uh, but th this is just to show that that the the configuration files are normal text files stored on your hard disk. Now, what the toolbox does is allow you to manipulate them. So, first of all, you select what you want to operate on. If you want to operate on the EQ ASCOM, uh, the telescope driver, you can then pick either the <coughs> general, excuse me, general uh, com configuration data, the alignment data. Or the gamepad data, and you, for any of that, you can make a backup. And if I bring in my file manager again, you can see that a, a, a back.ini has been created. You can then restore from that backup file uh, at a later date if, if if you want, or you can delete the ini file. Now, deleting the configuration files, what happens is if uh, EQASCOM starts up and it hasn't got any files in existence it creates new ones using defaults so if you ever want to restore defaults the easiest way uh, is to delete the any files and you can do that via the file manager if you wish or or do it from the toolbox you know you're only going to delete the right things and you, ha you, you, you can delete the general settings the alignment data or the gamepad and, and back them up uh, probably recommend once you've got your EQ ASGOM set up working the way you like it, so you've got your sounds assigned, your gamepad buttons assigned, uh, it's probably worth doing a backup of that any file. Uh, from time to time, it's possible that files can become corrupted. I mean, they are just files on your hard disk, um, and it will save you a bit of time reconfiguring everything if you made a backup. And the bottom here are a couple of buttons uh, that copy the configuration files from the telescope driver to the simulator and from the simulator to the telescope driver. That's useful if you want to do all your configuration using the simulator. Um, obviously you don't need a connection to the mount to do that so you can you could assign all your sounds and you, you know, test your gamepad stuff out and all that kind of thing in the day. Uh, and then just prior to observing go and uh, copy all the stuff from the simulator uh, over to the real telescope driver uh, to duplicate that that entire configuration okay that's that's it